the ability to add captions to your project in Final Cut Pro was a welcome update. And while Final Cut Pro includes a robust set of tools for captioning your video, there is a couple important features missing. One is the ability to add a text file for your captions and have Final Cut Pro set timings and line them up with a the dialogue in your video. And two, the ability to export your video with burnt in captions so the captions come on when the video comes on and the user doesn't have to manually turn them on. So today, I'll show you a workaround for both of these features by using free online services. Let's take a look at how we can add a text file and set timings for your project's captions. For this, we'll use YouTube's built-in caption tools and a text file. First, we need to create and format a transcript file. Open up your Word document and use YouTube's recommended tips to format your file. To force a new caption, add a blank line. For music and background sounds, use square brackets. Also, if you have more than one person speaking in your video, add two greater than or arrow bracket symbols to identify or change speakers. Go through and format your entire document. Next, we need to export it as a plain text file. If you're using Apple Pages, from the menu bar select File, Export To, and select Plain Text. Next, upload your video to YouTube. On the Video Info page, select the Subtitles and Closed Captions tab and click Add New Subtitles button. Select your language and click Upload a File. Navigate to and select your plain text transcript file and hit the Upload button. Once your file is uploaded, click Set Timings. Depending on your video, this may take some time. Once timings are set, click the Captions button and download the .srt file. Unfortunately, Final Cut Pro does not support this file type, so there's one more step we have to take. In your internet browser, navigate to rev.com, scroll down to the bottom of the page, and select Caption Converter. Click Select SRT File button and upload your SRT file you downloaded from YouTube. In the next column, choose a Scenarist SCC file type, enter your email, and hit the Convert File button. Your converted SCC file will be emailed to the email provider. Now, to add this file to your Final Cut Pro project, from the menu bar select File, Import, and Captions. Navigate to your SCC file, select Relative to Timeline button and hit Import. Your captions will be imported into your timeline and time to line up with the dialogue in your video. Now when you export your video project, your viewer will have the option of turning on captions when watching the video. Unfortunately, most players default to captions off. Now, if you're uploading to a scrolling platform such as Facebook or Instagram where the video auto plays but the sound stays off, it may be beneficial to have the captions always be on. Like I mentioned before, this isn't an option of Final Cut Pro, but once again, there is a workaround. Place your playhead at the start of your project and press Option W to add a 3 second gap clip. Next, export your project using a quality format with not much compression. I would recommend Apple ProRes 422 to minimize quality loss. Once done, open your video using QuickTime Player, make sure captions are turned on and your player is set to full screen. Now before hitting play, from the menu bar select File and New Screen Recording. From the drop down menu, select Internal Microphone, make sure volume is turned all the way down and hit the record button. Click to record full screen and hit the play button to start playing your video. You now have 3 seconds, the length of the gap clip we inserted at the beginning, to move your mouse pointer off screen to make the buttons disappear. Once your video is done recording, save it and import this video, along with the original video, back into Final Cut Pro. What we're going to do is use the QuickTime Recorded Movie for video and use the original clip for audio. The QuickTime Recorder clip used the internal mic recording your computer speakers, so needless to say, the audio sucks. So once imported, command click both your clips in the browser and from the menu bar select Clip and Synchronize Clips. In the pop-up window, give your clip a name and make sure you deselect the Disable Audio Components on AV Clips checkbox. Now hit OK. 
Once Final Cut Pro finishes synchronizing your clips, select your synchronized clip in the browser and press E to drop it into your timeline. Double click on the synchronized clip to expand it and turn down the volume of your recorded clip. Hit the back button to go back to your timeline. Now, depending on your screen resolution, you may have to crop your recorded clip. And don't forget to ripple trim off the gap clip you inserted at the start of your project. Your video, with burnt-in captions, is now ready for export and to be uploaded to a social media platform of your choice. The workarounds for these features aren't ideal, but they will get the job done. Hopefully Apple will include these features in an upcoming Final Cut Pro update, but until then, we have to do it manually. If you have a better method for what we did in this video, please share it in the comments below. And if you need to share a video, I'll make sure it gets past the spam filter. I look forward to hearing from you guys. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you back here next week.